So this is Mark Timmons, uh, otherwise known as the water doctor sometimes. <laughs> you know, a, an expert is a guy away from home with a briefcase, by the way, so that doesn't yes. mean much. Yes. Anyways, this is Terry Lyles, and uh, Terry Lyles is into human engineering. Yep. Um, what does that mean, Terry? You know, I was asked that by a race team owner. He says, uh, what do you do? And I go, I'm a human engineer. And he says, what is that? I said, how many engineers do you have here? And he said, 83. I go, how many human engineers do you have? And he goes, I don't know what that is. I go, that's what I do. So what I do is a lot like we do in the racing world, which is we tune the car, the chassis, the aerodynamics to communicate together and be balanced and aligned together that you get the best performance out of that car. In this case, it's the best performance out of a human being. So. My last book just came out a month ago. It's called Performance Under Pressure, and that's really what it's all about. How do we measure what's going on inside the body from the biometric side, including hydration, which is how we got together, to measure how the body is working under the hood so you can really see what's going on. So, as you know, I've been interested in hydration for a long time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've, we've, we know that reverse osmosis removes the largest spectrum of contaminants of any water treatment process. And that includes microfiltration, micron filtration, carbon filtration, as well as the reverse osmosis process itself. However, we've learned over the years that it's not just advisable to have contaminants out of the water, mm -hmm. but there are things that we can do with the water to make it so that it's more readily absorbed by the human body. Mm -hmm. We know that the body tends to respond to highly alkaline water. We need, to, we need to know that we know that the body responds to water that has a negative oxidation reduction potential, a negative ORP. Most city water has uh, a positive ORP of around 200. If you can get that negative, even 200, 300, 500, and have the pH so that it's alkaline, your body's gonna more readily hydrate. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's only 10 or 15%, but here's the key. Your muscles, your 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 tendons, your ligaments, everything is going to stay hydrated instead of staying dry. Mm -hmm. And when it stays hydrated, you're going to have fewer injuries, mm -hmm. hamstring pulls, mm -hmm. um, muscle strains, cramps, sure. things like that. So we've always been interested in in this, and that's why we're partnering with Terry, because on the biometric side, his company can measure the success of hydration, mm -hmm. of what methods we're using that are better for hydration and how much better they are. Is that right? Sure, that's exactly right. And also from the topical side, you know, you mentioned the internal part, the, uh, even the topical side, skin, you know, hair, hair follicle growth, all those things are very important. And for people that are in the cosmetic world, you know, that's a, that's a very big deal. So everything is around water. I mean, the earth is two thirds water, our body is almost two thirds water. You know, so there's a lot to water, and that's my attraction with being with you guys with U.S. Water here because of what you can bring to the table, which is a better water solution uh, from stem to stern and how that really works. So we've looked at a lot of different technologies, and there's some really promising technologies out there. Some of them are frankly scary. Mm -hmm. um, they're scary because to dial in what people want to do with the water could be dangerous. Mm -hmm. There are machines out there that are involved in producing hydro gas, which in the right concentrations can be very dangerous. And there's also chemicals, which have a maybe a very high pH. Mm -hmm. These can be problematic too. Mm -hmm. So we've been looking at different methods of, of hydrating, and what we've come up with is our new technology. It's called libation technology. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if, if sometimes when you say you want to get an alcoholic drink, you're saying you want a libation, L-I-B-A-T-I-O-N. Well, this is libation because <laughs> it helps your life. Libation yes. technology. We were creating a new word. Nice. I, I don't believe it's in the dictionary, but it is now. Libation we'll technology. It, and it will be. And, that's uh, and that's what we're going to call it, libation technology. And what we do, we have a, a chamber such as this. It can be as small as this for a home, maybe for a, a reverse osmosis system at the kitchen sink or we have tanks that have this media inside and there's about eight or ten different medias that are in here including ORP ceramic balls, catalytic carbon, toluene uh, ceramic balls, uh, far infrared balls, alkaline balls and also um, things like calcium, magnesium, potassium, things like that that are going to remineralize the water. 
it has to go through this in a prolonged contact fashion. About a quarter of a gallon a minute is all that you want through this. Mm. So typically, if you have a home reverse osmosis system, this would pass into the tank in a very controlled setting because we want as much contact with the water as possible. If you were putting it on a whole house, it might take a much larger tank and a storage tank after it to control that prolonged contact. But the ultimate result is going to be water that has a pH of between 10 and 11. It's going to have a negative ORP, typically two to the 300 or more, and it's going to be remineralized. The reverse osmosis strips out all the minerals. Mm -hmm. This adds minerals back. Uh, not that those minerals are important for hydration or for your body. Water is not a significant source of minerals. Mm -hmm. But adding the minerals back helps make the water more alkaline. Sure. And that's the key to what this is doing. So some people say, well, I don't want to drink reverse osmosis water because it doesn't have any minerals in it. Well, if you drink a bathtub full a day, you might get 5% of what you need. Right. So water is just not a significant source of minerals. But this libation technology is something that we're really rolling out to um, sports teams, mm -hmm. to auto racing teams, mm -hmm. anybody in the world of athletics that depends upon performance and wants to increase their performance, increase their hydration, increase getting rid of lactic acid as you're working out, increase championship quality mm -hmm. yes. play. Yes. And that's what we're talking about human engineering like yes. you call it. And that's where the full circle comes back around. And I know it, we've had this conversation before that depending on what region of the country or the world you live in, there are different needs in the water because you're treating a different source of water. I know reverse osmosis, you explained, you know, just guts it, takes everything out, but then you need to add things back in and that could all be customized. A lot like the human body. Not everybody has the same mechanisms inside of them from a nutritional standpoint, a hydration standpoint, so everything needs to be modern. There, that's where the human engineering comes back to. It's how do you take these pieces and mechanisms and put them together to build a human performance opportunity. And that's really what this, and that's why I'm excited about the water being a part of that. And so we've partnered with Terry because hopefully we're gonna be able to provide the libation technology mm -hmm. to athletes, mm -hmm. to racers, to any number of people that want this technology in their homes, yes. their businesses, their offices, their sports complexes, wherever sure. it's going to be. And then Terry's company can measure the mm -hmm. performance. What type of increased performance are we seeing? In the human body, when mm -hmm. it's happening. Right. Which is really interesting because when we first met, that was what I was really interested in as I measure athletic performance at every level from mind-body, because that's really what I'm engineering is the mind the body. So it's like the engine and the chassis of a car. And, and making sure that the aerodynamics is correct. How lean can you be? How fast can you be? And all that's measurable. And with the biometric technology, we can put interpretation to it. So a lot of people say, well, I know what my heart rate is, my breath rate, and my calories burn per minute, that's great. But you ask the average person, they don't know what it means. They just see data, they see a number. It's like water, is the water good? Yeah, does it have a scent? No, is it clear? Yeah, this water. You don't, you know a lot about water. I know more about the human body and the effects of that. So it's, it's one thing to say, yes, it's water. It's another thing to say, what did that water do to you, positively and negatively? And that's what we want to be able to really get down and measure and show it at a, a human performance level. Um, and I mean, dentist office. I mean, I've talked to some dentists uh, in the South Florida area, and I mean, everything they do is water. You have tubes in your mouth, and you know they're washing and cleansing, and they have a, a huge opportunity to improve their water process because everything they do is regulated by water. So it's my understanding too, Terry, that you have a company or uh, mm -hmm. are involved in a company that yes. has, for lack of a better term, cloth that has circuit boards built into it. Yes, we're in the process of building uh, clothing circuit boards that will be able to uh, even pick up now from this side, hopefully sooner than later, uh, even from the sweat content and be able to measure that on the exit out of the body. Uh, but we also have the biometrics that we use that can be inserted into the body and through the ear canal and or wearable that we use our graphs and um, actual bio system to actually measure what that is. The fabric is an exciting part of it. It's kind of like what you just put together here. We're trying to do the same thing with cloth to be able to get it to another phase. So we're excited about the partnership and being able to put some really cool things together to help people be healthier <coughs> and help them uh, 
just understand. I'd give you a drink of water, but I don't have one. No, yeah, <laughs> help, some here, help people just understand that you know it's more than just what you feel in your body. It's what you're actually putting in that will differentiate that. And we're really excited about this because you know people are performing at high level, at championship levels. Mm -hmm. You know they're exceeding expectations. They're pushing their body to the limit. Yes. Maybe it's that last five percent of hydration mm -hmm. that makes the difference between pulling your hamstring or yes. running over the finish line with, you know, with a record time. Absolutely. And uh, or maybe it's 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 that hydration that prevents your Tommy John ligament from letting go in your arm sure. because you were properly hydrated. I mean, we don't know the long-term ramifications of all this, but it does seem logical yes. that the better the body can hydrate, the less damage there's going to be done through injury to the muscles. And muscle. the quicker it can hydrate, because right. part of the problem is, you know, some of the water we take in, it, it, it doesn't process the way that we would think it would. It goes to other areas and we, we flush it out of our system. So the speed in that is, is key. And I say this in performance training all the time with performers and athletes. The, the whole performance that we're talking about, human performance, is measured by the speed of recovery. How quickly can you do something and recover and get ready to do it again? And that's true in the gym, it's true in a car, it's true just going to work every day. So you get angry, how quickly can you get over it? I get confused or distracted, how quickly can I go get over it? That's all recovery speed. So with this, we're talking about the physical adaptation of water in the body and how quickly we can hydrate the body that helps you recover quicker, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So it's really a, a cool process that we've set out on that we're looking forward to you know, bringing to, to light together. And we are working with some major uh, sports figures. We're working with some uh, racing teams and things like that, which, which we'll talk about at some point in time yes. further. Yes. But we're trying to measure this. To, we're, we're trying to produce the system that is going to hydrate the body quicker, and hopefully Terry's and his company is going to be able to track this performance, yes. and we can show the results that have happened, the empirical evidence that we can create so that you know everyone's going to want to use this absolutely and it's because we can measure it and you know we live in a day and age now where you can measure almost everything and i explain it like your water system when i talk to people about how i measure things it's kind of like your radiator in your car so everybody knows if you have a water temperature gauge in your car and that temperature light or gauge goes red gets hot your car will overheat that's a problem so it wasn't for whatever reason cooling because water cools and the body has a cooling system just like an automobile does or an aircraft. Uh, so any engine needs to be cooled. So knowing how quickly and how long you can sustain that is a big deal. But if you put just pure water in your radiator of your car or engine, it's gonna overheat because it boils quickly. Yes. So what stops that is the antifreeze. So the antifreeze keeps it at a balanced level that it doesn't overheat and it stays you know, at the right temperature. And we believe the same thing within the body because the body gets hot, the body gets cold, and it has to navigate. And it burns calories accordingly. So we believe that this hydration piece is such an important element to understand. And I think you and I are both going to learn a lot about this together, which is really exciting to see that we kind of have a hypothesis. We believe this is what it's going to be. We're going to set out and prove it and show people here's how you perform at a higher level. Libation, hydration. And that's a, you know, maybe you even call it a, Libation Hydration Station. Mm -hmm. That's a mouthful. Yes. Terry, we're looking forward to this partnership Yes. and uh, feel like uh, we're headed down the right path. We've got some exciting things to do and uncover and uh, here's, uh, here's to our success. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great to be with you, Mark.